Max Struess was what? 0 for 10 in game one? But this right here is exactly what Miami needs, not just to win one game, but if they want to win the whole series, which is contributions not just from Max Struess, but from everybody across the board. But peep right here the manipulation on this play. So basic defensive principle. You protect the rim when you guard the inbounder. But that little space that KCP has between him and Struess gave all the space that Struess needed to be, to be able to get off that screen and get loose for a three. And then he hits his first one. And then we already know how the game turned out. Great game by Struess. Great game. And now right here, right? When we look back at why Denver lost his game, it's not because the last minute. It's not because that shot Jamal Murray took at the end. It's because these plays like this that happen early on. These miscommunications. These lapses. And it's not even just in the first quarter. We're going to see more later on. But boom. What should be a switch or what should be a stay turned out to be two players guarding one. And now you add up all these buckets that they got burned off of just because of miscommunications. That's why they lost this game. Now, Jimmy, on this post up. The timing of that right there to get that foul. Finally got to the free throw line after a whole game of not getting to the line. So peep this. What he's going to do, he's going to get this first bump. Now on the second bump. He's going to bump and rip through. He's not going to bump and then rip through. Because doing those two things together is going to cause Murray to stay in a position where he's ready to embrace contact and he's going to be leaning forward. So now he's going up into a shot, going into contact, and now he gets the foul, goes to the line. Great way for him to get his rhythm early on in the game. Getting to the free throw line. Can never go wrong with that. But Pete Kevin Love right here, though. Great play. That's called not being a bot. Because what most players would do, right? is they'll see the person that they're guarding cut and they just begin to follow him. But this cut right here by AG is just a decoy. So he's just moving just for space. And Murray gets off the ground to make a jump pass and Kevin Love jumps out and gets a steal on that. Great decision to put him into a starting lineup as well. Man, plays like this just must be stopped. Flops. Tell me, does KCP get touched? Tell me, do we get touched? This is why exactly I'm hoping that this this flopping rule that they're about to implement into the summer league actually does turn out to be something decent because all this flopping i can't take it i know you can't take it we all can't take it it's not good for the game it needs to be done they need to do something about it bro i'm tired of seeing it all the time bro and then kcp once again kcp was on a little bit of pcp this game he was tripping but peep that angle that he took on these close on that closeout so right here switch on the struce right so notice the angle he's about to take Instead of going from help straight to Struess, he went from help to the passing lane, then to Struess. And now this allows Struess to get loose, and now he gets another three, wide open. That little angle and waste of movement that he took right there is all Struess needed to be able to get that clean look off. And just like that, man, he had the early lead, and now they're about to be down 15. But this is where they vary between the Suns and the Lakers. The Suns, they got blown out, and they gave up. The Lakers, they got blown out, but they got big back into the game, but they couldn't take control of the lead and be able to finish the game. Miami, they finished the game, and that's purely mentality right there. It has nothing to do with skill because obviously their roster is less talented, has less firepower than those other teams, but Miami has a mentality, which is what could carry them throughout the series and will be the reason if they win this series. They gave Vincent. Big contributions every game for Gabe Vincent. But when playing in transition, the first thing you should always seek is contact. And here's why. So peep Krishna Brown, right? Sprinting back on transition. Now tell me, you know how difficult it would be for a player to be able to sprint, get to a stop, and not jump from A to B? So now if you go into them get that contact, you're bound to get that foul because they're jumping from A to B. It's going to be rare to see a player be able to contest cleanly while sprinting and having to get to a stop. It's rare. You only see players like ADs and Jaron Jacksons and Bams at some time be able to do that well. Then right there, man. I'm telling you, KCP was tripping. KCP was tripping. It seems like Michael Porter Jr. was the reason for that, but it was actually KCP. So peep this. So right here, look at the positioning. Porter Jr. is a help defender, meaning he came from Kevin Love. KCP is now responsible for playing two on this weak side. So Jimmy Butler gets into the paint. KCP is the first pass out but he's only guarding this corner and anticipates his pass get thrown here instead of trying to play in between, then getting out. Now, Gabe, Vincent, Gabe Vincent's open, and he knocks it down, man. It's on KCP. And right there, Miami did a great job of that exactly right there, all game. Activity while Murray comes off these handoffs and these pick and rolls. Just makes it even tougher for him to get that ball, so peep this. 
comes off the screen going left, right? Butler, bam, hands high. And what does Struess do? Leave Bruce Brown to get Jokic. Because you get this to Jokic while they have an advantage off of the ball, Jokic is going to be able to find whoever he needs to so they can score. He's going to make plays. But now he tries to get this to Bruce Brown in the middle while Bam and Jimmy have their hands active and up high. So that just makes it extremely difficult for them to be able to get that pass through. Now they get that turnover. And I peeped that right here by Kyle Lowry, right? This right here, I know a lot of people hate walking the dog, but hear me out. This is when it should be utilized even more. So instead of players just wa walking the dog, wasting the clock, they walk the dog to be more time efficient in their half court set. They save themselves probably six, seven seconds just by walking the, walking the ball up the floor and the defense and pressure them up to be able to take that away. So why not use it to your advantage? Results in that bucket right there you seen by Zeller. And then right here, Duncan Robinson, man, the reviver. They lost the lead, and then right here to start the fourth quarter, he brought them right back into this game with a quick eight points. Now, Pete, this right here by Jamal Murray, though. So, boom, swing, shot clock, six seconds. So, Murray's head, he's been playing defense for a while, so now he's going to be a little more antsy. So, now a little shot fake right here by Duncan Robinson is all he needs for Murray to get off the ground and get off his feet. Now he's able to take this three, knock it down. And once again, Duncan Robinson, he's still cooking. He's still chefing, right? Rip through, easy buckets, two dribbles, gets the lay, and one. But he's been out the rotation for how long? Like a year or two? Playoffs come around, now he's ready, and now we see another level to his game. Instead of being out the rotation for so long and saying, okay, I don't care, I'm going to be mad, he's not putting me in the game. Or instead of saying, okay, I got paid, I'm not going to add layers to my game because I just got my money. Instead, he said, I'm going to go in the offseason, continue to add layers to my game, continue to get better. And now he's able to get another chance to play. And now we see the layers to his game that he's added by putting the work in, man. A lot of players won't do that. They'll get their money and just leave. Robinson kept putting that work in. Now, boom, has he pull it? That's a little tough one because it's so tough to be able to go from slow to fast. And sh shooting a hezzy pull up, you got to have a soft touch. You don't have a soft touch on it. It's not going to go good most times. Duncan Robinson right there. Boom, as he pulled it. That's quick eight. That's a quick eight right there. And then another miscommunication once again. Another one. And now this is not just the first one on the same action. There's about to be another one. About to be another one. Same exact action. The first one, they went to two. The second one, again, should be a very easy switch by Denver. But guess what? No switch. It's a guard, guard, screen in action. You just switch this easy. You should. This should not be something that you break down to. But you add this up, it's the reason they lost. Then you got Duncan Robinson mean mugging on y'all, man. Y'all deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it, man. You cooking. Brought him right back into this game. That Bam right there. That's just confidence. Confidence by Bam. Peep it. Boom. Rescreen, right? Short roll. Sees the help. He has an easy two-on-one -on, on this weak side between Gabe Vincent and Kayla Martin, who've been shooting about 40% this year in the playoffs. But he gets to the short roll, doesn't even hesitate, sees Porter Jr. drop back a little bit, and pulls the jumper. He has confidence in himself to knock this shot down, man. And that's how Bam needs to play, with confidence and with no hesitation. Hey, this is another thing that helped Miami win this game, is the refs. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I, I want Miami to win the series, but I'm, I just got to keep it a buck. The rest made a couple calls that went in their favor, like this one right here. Goaltending. It's rare we see the ball sit in the air for this long, and they don't call the goaltend. But guess what? They don't. They didn't call the goaltend, man. Got away at the block. Jimmy's short on the midi, right? But right here, man. Once again, confidence by Caleb Martin now. Because notice the situation in the game. Up nine, he hits that three. Up 12, you got the momentum. 340 left in the game. Kayla Martin gets the ball off an offensive rebound, brings it right back to the three-point line after not hitting a shot this whole game. I don't even think he hit a shot last game either. Brings it back, pulls it, knocks it down. That's confidence right there. But then later in the game, the game still, Denver did not give up. I can tell you this, the Denver did not give up. And what allowed him to get back in was that zone by Miami. Because in that zone by Miami, they were not able to keep Jokic off the glass. He was able to get a lot of offensive rebounds, and then boom, he got the offensive rebound. Best time to get an open three. Kick out, open three. And they knock it down. Now they're down three. 
and then Miami would defer from it a little later on. But boom. Bam's confidence and his ability to play without hesitation. He needs to do this for six games if they want to have a chance. I'll let him have one where he doesn't do too well, but all the other ones, he needs to play at this level because it's not just him that needs to play good. It's every single person in the rotation that needs to do their job if they want to win this series. Once again, roll. Help comes over. And in a lot of situations like this, players will freeze up. But the second that you freeze up, is a second that you will get stuck because now Jokic just is going to begin to recover. You're double teamed. Now it's harder to make that pass out. And then you get a turnover. They get on transition. Easy bucket. But Bam made the play. Pump faked. Got himself to the line. Knocked down two. Now Jimmy's chance to try to dagger this game right here. Try to get that side step. Nope. Step back. Slow on it. Missed it. But right here, man. Right here. Off, off the top of this game, right? Jimmy's done a great job defending Jamal Murray. Jokic brought up Jimmy in that action. And what ended up happening, Jimmy played Jamal Murray great once again. And now they get this win. And now they're about to go back to Miami 1-1. And how many people are saying it's about to be a sweep? Hey, man, the series is a little closer than some of y'all think. That's all I'm going to say. Because the Nuggets may have the talent. They may have the skill. But Miami has the mentality. They have the mindset like we clearly see in everything that you do starts mentally and if you have that edge sometimes that may just be all you need to win a game so that's the end of this video make sure you subscribe like turn on the notifications we dropping videos every other day we streaming as well so make sure you go hit that link in the description go follow and we out of here